Hey Noble Ones, welcome back to my channel. This is The Metatron speaking and today we've got a little bit of an unusual video if compared to the sort of content that I usually upload. And don't worry, on Saturday I will be publishing a usual video. We'll be talking about the normal fun stuff that we normally do talk about on this channel. But for today I need to speak about this video and I've been putting off the making of this video for quite some time. And when I say sometimes I mean months. And uh, to be honest, I've got some reasons why I did not want to make this video and I'll go a little bit into the details details of this while, uh, later on. I have come to the conclusion that this video needed to be make, made and it was out of my hands now. So here is the deal. In February I decided to order, purchase and order a shirt of mail for content production because I wanted to recreate a 15th century soldier but I also wanted to kind of play with it also with my 14th century kit so I wanted a full shirt of mail and I uh, found out about that this guy from India by the name of Ashish Kumar, I have no idea how to pronounce it name. Um, he uh, was producing mail here, he was advertising everywhere because this guy spams everywhere. Any reenactment uh, group on Facebook has got his stuff advertised, he self-advertises a lot. And uh, you know, from the pictures I thought, hey, this guy makes some really good looking mail shirt. So I said, you know, I want to give it a go. So I, been, I contacted him, we start talking and he says, yeah, sure, I can make the mail shirt. We speak about YouTube, <laughs> someone contacted me, not him, no. So we speak about um, YouTube related stuff I tell him I'm a content creator and I need to make it for video production so he asks me for the measurements what I wanted and I show him very precise measurements that I will show you soon and uh, so I show him the measurements I said I wanted like this I show him the picture of the original that I wanted copied which is from the Metropolitan Museum of Art uh, a 15th century male shirt and I said this is what I want these are the measurements how much do you want and he says hey, you need to pay me $430 so I pay him um, I pay him and he starts making the uh, mail shirt, then he sends it over. Now here is when the situation, well how Americans say, shit hits the fan. I receive the mail shirt and the measurements are completely wrong. Just, just so you know, um, I'm going to show you what I said to him on chat as a screenshot, but I'm going to blur out what he said, uh, simply because I don't think it's honorable to show what another person said in a private chat and then show it publicly. I don't think it's right. And uh, you know, this guy really treat, did not treat me right and you will see this, but I have to ask you to believe me because I don't want to show what he said. I'll just show what I said. Of course, I have all the screenshots in case I need it in the future. I'm an honorable man, I'm not stupid. For me, it's like stabbing someone in the back to show something that it was it was meant for you and so I'm not unless you really need to do it I'm not going to do it I sent him very precise pictures and very precise measurements I said the male needs to be 52 centimeters in length uh, from my armpit all the way down to the rim what does he send me? He sends me a mail shirt that is only 27 centimeters long and it's ridiculous. I'm gonna put it on now and show you. It's completely wrong. And uh, I made sure that we both understood we were talking centimeters, like it was very clear. Now, I'm not the kind of guy who points the finger at you if you make a mistake and, and, and mistreats you. So I did not mistreat him, I was very polite. I had to point out when I received the item then I wasn't happy because the measurements were incorrect, but I did it in a very nice way. And that's just how I am. Um, you know, even if I go to a restaurant and I order food and the waiter makes a mistake and gives me the food that is not meant for me, but it's meant for another table, I always treat them nice, I always smile. I always say, hey, I, I don't think that's mine. I was waiting for chips or crisps. And then if he says, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm like, hey, don't worry, mate. I always do the same with my father when he asks me for food. Like I make a joke. I like pe making people feel good when they make a mistake and it's a little bit of an awkward situation because it's just the way I am and I've always been like this. So I did, didn't mistreat him. At this point, I'm a very patient and very nice customer. But I pointed out, I said the measurements are completely wrong. And he said, uh, no, I made it according to what you said, to your specification. Now to this, I reply with pictures. I showed him again a picture of what I had asked and I show him a picture of, of the mail shirt uh, with the measurements and I show him that it's incorrect. He, he literally, it's literally half of what I had asked. So he made a big mistake. He made a mistake, it's not a big deal, but you need to solve it for me because I need it. I need it for content production. I need it, I, I can't use it like this. I can't work with it. I can't wear it like this. To this, he replies by saying, okay, I'm checking. So he's checking on why this happened. He told me he was gonna check on the 16th of March and he disappears all the way up to the 28th. By this time, I'm thinking, is this guy even checking? Does he even care? Because he did care to take my money. So I contact him again and again 
And again, he sees, doesn't reply, sees, doesn't reply, and finally, he replies. So we talk on the phone and he says, no, don't worry, mate, I wanna make sure you're okay, you're happy, so I will make, I promise, I will make a new mail shirt for you. And because I heard this, I was like, you know, that's nice, so I'll pay the shipping. You know, I was being very nice, because again, remind, remember, this was not my mistake. I made zero mistakes with the measurements. I gave him the right measurements, but still I'm like, hey, I'll pay the shipment. So he said he's gonna send the mail shirt on the 30th of March. He completely disappears until July, four months. I write him messages, he doesn't care. He doesn't reply, he sees them, because you know you can see them when someone see, visualizes your messages, just disappears. I still patiently wait for another month. By now, it's the 13th of August and I say, unfortunately, you haven't contacted me ever again and you haven't fixed my problem with the mail shirt as you had promised. So starting now, I will give you a negative review on the social media pages and on my YouTube channel, meaning this video. Sorry to do this. I gave you months to fix the problem, but you haven't. You took my money. You didn't give me a refund and you didn't give me a good mail shirt. So I will let my followers know. To this, he replies, what's the problem with the mail shirt? I'm like... Goodness gracious. So by now I'm pissed. It's been six months. I gave him a lot of time. And again, if he needed longer, maybe because of COVID, let's say problems, he can't send it. I would have been okay waiting. I even told him that. So it's not like I wanted it immediately, but I wanted at least contact. So now I just ask him, you know, I want a refund. That's no way to treat a customer. I've been very patient, but you just disappeared. You keep seeing my messages. You don't reply for months. Um, and I had to stop the production and cancel the production of videos. This has cost me. Not to mention the fact that my audience was waiting for these videos. So I said, you know what? I want my money back. I asked him for a refund on the 13th of August. He saw it, disappeared. So he was happy to take my money. He knows I'm not happy. He knows I'm disappointed. He knows I, was, I wanted to do something. He knows I can't work with it. He knows he has slowed me down and that I'm not happy. I'm sad with the, with the purchase and he sh clearly shows that he doesn't care. So what's the point of this video? Am I seeking revenge? No. Even though he really mistreated me and I, I just didn't do anything wrong, uh, I was thinking maybe I shouldn't make this video because I don't like messing with another person's livelihood. I don't want to boycott him. This is not why I'm making this video. The reason why I'm making this video is because I am protective with my friends and you, my audience, you are my friends. And I feel I needed to make this video to protect you for two reasons. Reason number one, as I say, this guy spams everywhere. And I know for a fact that it will happen that two, 10, 100 people out of 431,000 people that I have, unbelievable for me, but that happened in my life. Uh, I know many of you might buy from him. What if he does the same? What if, if there is one of you, maybe a younger one, like, you know, you're in your 20s and you don't have a lot of money, but you worked really hard at, I don't know, Subway, McDonald's, and you've just managed to save up those $400 and you're thinking, you know what, plus shipping and everything, $500, and you're thinking, hey, I really want a mail shirt because I watch Metatron's content and I like it a lot and I want to do it, I want to reenact, and you see this guy spamming, look, look, my mail, very good, my friend, my friend, buy from me, and then you're like, you know what, I want it, so you contact him, you give him your money, he sends you a mail that is completely wrong and you can't, it doesn't even fit you, and uh, and uh, and you have lost your money and I could have prevented that with this video that's what really motivated I'm making the video it's an honest review and an angry review and a bad review but as a customer I'm not happy and I want to protect you the second way in which I'm protecting you is because as you know when I buy my armor my helmets I usually use patreon money because I have Patreon, patrons on Patreon. And uh, this is what I did at this point. And that pissed me off so much that I took $430 out of my own personal savings from my daily job as a teacher and I replaced the Patreon money I had used and I used that money to buy the Barbute helmet that I have because I could not stand the thought that people who gave me gave me money as donations on Patreon to support my channel, they gave me this money which is hard work and I don't care if it's $5, if it's $1 or if, if it's $200, $500. I appreciate that this has been given to me and I want to use this 
to create more stuff for you. And I believe that I have a responsibility over that money. And the idea that this guy has taken my the money from my donors, not a chance in heaven and hell. So at that point, I said, you know, you wanna take money you didn't deserve, take my money, you don't take my patrons money. So I replaced it. That of course put me in a little bit of a difficult situation that month because I had an unexpected expense and I still haven't been able to order a proper mail shirt because of this. Also because unfortunately it's been a year now that my Patreon has been completely halved. So it is what it is, I'm not complaining. Um, I, as you know, I make about six, almost $700 a month on Patreon it's public i will always keep it public as a public uh, information because i don't believe uh, in in content creators that hide the amount of money they get through donations because i feel that that's not honest and i want to be honest and transparent i want people to know exactly how much money i make at one point a couple of years ago i was making a thousand and two hundred dollars on patreon every month and i never hid it because people who hide it in my opinion it's their choice and their prerogative but it feels like you don't want me to know how much money i'm making on patreon so that it doesn't hinder your decision to, to give me money because some people might think, uh, oh, if, if they know that I make this much money, then they won't, they, they will probably think that I make enough. But for me, I want you, I want it to be with my patrons an informed decision. So, you know, I make $700 a month. If there is another content creator that makes $200 a month and you only have $5 and you need to decide who's going to get your money and you think, hey, you know what, Metron already makes $700 a month. I'm going to help this other little creator. Yes. That's something you need to be able to choose. So if you do choose to give a donation to me, you do it because you know exactly what you're doing, you know what it's going for, and you know already how much money I'm making. So this is my negative review. I can't recommend his craftsmanship, but the only man I can recommend is Isaac Krog, and he is the one I will be ordering a mail shirt in the future. Maybe I will let a few months accumulate because he is quite expensive, but to be honest, he's the only man I can recommend with him you will be 100% sure that it will treat you right and it will make a mail shirt that fits and, and it will do a very good job. He's the only one. I probably that's what I should have bought in the first place anyways. It was my mistake, uh, I suppose, for for trusting this man. And But this is what happened and I just wanted you to know. So thank you for watching. If you have watched it so far, let me know because I'm curious. And uh, I will see you on Saturday for a regular video on the Metatron channel. And thank you so much always for your support, your patience and your real friendship. Thank you, number ones. Goodbye.